Here we go. A thin line. A thicker line. A really thick line. So here I have a couple of bamboo sticks. So all I had to do to get to this stage was to just to find a nice straight piece of bamboo, cut it to kind of the length of the pencil, and then drill some holes into it with a drill press. I think having a hole here is a really good idea because it's going to spread out the stresses that the, uh, the split will create. So now let's just see if I can make a dip pen out of a piece of bamboo. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the slit of the nib, which goes from the hole here to the very end of the bamboo. Okay, here we go. Oh yes, it's happening. Oh, does that work? Did I just, yes. Okay, well, one side here has gone a bit skew whiffed, but this top part here is perfectly, perfectly hole here on the flat section. I'm going to get rid of this hole down here and I'm going to slice it up like this. You need a really sharp knife to do this. Because bamboo is incredibly tough material. So I'm going to get to the end of this nib. I want to make it a nice fine point. So I'm going to carve it more this way on the sides. Oh yes, it's so therapeutic just to sit back and slowly carve a piece of wood. Take more off closer to the hole so it can flex a bit easier. I guess that's better. Now to get a real nice smooth finish on this, I'm going to use the knife a bit like a card scraper. So after about 14 minutes of carving, I have made this. See, it does spread out a fair bit. So maybe even if I carved out more, just in here, it will spread out just slightly further. So let's completely ruin it now and just go too far. That's what I always end up doing. Yep. So I'm going to be using some, some Sumi drawing ink. Okay, well, let's try this out. Here it is, my bamboo dip pen. Hmm. Does it flex well? Oh yes, rails a lot actually. I'm in a railing there. Well, that's really inky. Now, using it upside down produces some, some quite fine lines. It does produce thicker lines and it has potential to produce quite thick lines, but unfortunately, the ink just seems to be absorbed by the bamboo. I think my problem is, is that there's nothing stopping the ink just to flow straight off the dip pen like that. I need to maybe make, make some little furrows or something to stop the ink from flowing straight off the end of the dip pen and doing this when I load it up with ink. I'll just do some cuts like this. I do like a, a feathering technique, maybe. So I've put lots of little cuts now in there. Really roughened it up. Well, we are holding more ink. Oh, look at this thin line. Yeah, still going. 
thicker line. Oh, let's dip it in like this and completely get it covered. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here is a pen. Could probably do calligraphy with this pen. Try to try it out. I say probably because, you know, I'm not very good at calligraphy. I can barely pronounce the thing. Okay, I've just made a dip pen out of bamboo and it works surprisingly well. Works better than I would have ever expected. Although, come to think of it, it's impossible for it not to work. I mean, anything can be a dip pen if you dip it in ink, hey? Like this old biro, for example, which no longer works. Oh look, a dip pen. Although it doesn't work very well. Here we go. A thin line. A thicker line. A really thick line. A very thin line. Okay, now that I've established that it works, I'm going to do some drawing of this. Instead of just, you know, aimless scribble. So first I did a bit of a pencil sketch of what I was planning to ink. I didn't spend a very long time on the pencil sketch because I knew that I was just going to use a piece of bamboo to ink it with. So I didn't have a lot of confidence, initially anyway, that these pens would do a very good job. But more or less, I was uh, quite surprised. In fact, I was quite surprised for a number of reasons. Now I did most of the Wait, no, I did basically all of the inking with the second pen I made, which I didn't show you making it. It was a lot more practical, the second one. So the nib on the first one I made has got to be like three centimeters long, and it's got an incredible amount of flex to it. You can easily flex it out a good, you know, it goes from one millimeter to like five millimeters. But the nib is just too long, really. You've got to make sure you dip it in a really really deep ink well to make it work properly and then it just doesn't seem to hold enough ink there's a lot of runoff so probably could be helped by putting a few more cuts in the timber on the underside of the nib yeah so when i made the second one i made the nib a lot shorter but it's not as flexible not much flex at all but it works very well now one unintended consequence which surprised me okay this is the surprising part. And I should have seen this coming, really, of making a dip pen out of bamboo, is that bamboo actually swells up as it absorbs the ink. And this makes a big difference to how thick the lines are. So when you first start using the pen, you're like, oh wow, this can produce a really thin line. And I could put a bit more pressure, oh, it's a thick line. That's fantastic. But after about five minutes of use, after constantly dipping it in ink, the timber starts to swell and expand. And of course, it expands at the eye of the nib. And this actually spreads the, what are they called again? Splines? No? Can't remember what they're called. And this spreads the two sides of the nib apart, giving you a thicker line when you don't want it. So the pen starts off very controllable and easy to use. And then the lines just get thicker and thicker over time as the nib starts to get wider and wider, as the bamboo swells up full of ink, which is basically why I stopped using the really long nibbed one, because the longer the nib, the more the nib spreads apart. It's just got more distance to travel. But the uh, shorter nib was still quite usable, even though you could still see the nib visibly spread more apart as it was uh, started to get more heavily used. Now, I don't know how to solve this problem, I thought about maybe putting some kind of waterproofing material on top of the bamboo. But of course, if I put waterproofing on the bamboo, this would lead to another problem. Because bamboo seems to be quite hydrophilic. 
and it seems to hold the ink on there quite well. So if I was to spray some kind of hydrophobic material on there, the ink would just drip right off. You almost need some kind of spring mechanism to squeeze the sides of the nib back together. Maybe some kind of elastic band or... That might work. Now I don't know how long a bamboo dip pen would actually last for. I can imagine the timber wearing down. As far as timber goes, bamboo is a very hard wearing material, so probably last a little while. I didn't notice too much wear down just doing this drawing here. This drawing of some alien proto-Jedi mumbo-jumbo. Anyway, goodbye. That's all I have to say. I'll see you later.